Okay, here's our last example of how we can find the change in entropy when we have an exchange of heat. Now here we have a thermodynamic process. If you recognize this one, notice that the pressure doesn't stay the same, uh, that the pressure stays the same. So this is what we call an isobaric process. In an isobaric process, we know that the work done is equal to the pressure times the change in the volume. We also know that the change in internal energy is equal to N C sub V times delta T. And we also know that the change in the heat or the heat exchange, and I should, should just write Q, Q is equal to N C sub P delta T. All right. Knowing all that, how does it apply to finding the change in the entropy? Well, we do need to know what the temperature is, otherwise, hmm, well, well, we'll get to that in just a moment. Uh, we also need to put in a dq, so a dq would be the change of this. So that can be written as the integral of n c sub p delta t, n c sub p dt over the temperature. And we know that the temperature is going to change because we know that this is a colder temperature, this is a higher temperature, and we'll get to that in just a moment. We'll probably have to use the equation PV equals NRT to find the temperature change. Uh, but in the meanwhile, we know that N is a constant, C is a constant. We know N is one mole. It's a diatomic gas, so we can take that outside integral sign. So this is equal to N C sub P times the integral of uh, dT over T from T uh, zero to Tf, so T initial to T final. So we could do it that way. Um, we need to then figure out what the temperatures are here. We'll do that in just a moment. Uh, let's go ahead and continue with this equation. So this is equal to N C sub P times the natural log of the temperature from T initial to T final. And so finally we could say that the change in entropy in this case is going to be equal to um, uh, N C sub P times the natural log of T final over T initial. Okay, so now we have to figure out what the temperatures are, and can we do that? Using our equation PV equals NRT, we say PV equals NRT, we say that T is equal to PV over NR, which means that temperature at the initial point, so this is our initial point, this is our final point right there, our initial point is equal to pressure at that point, volume at that point, divided by N times R. The pressure at that point is one atmosphere, which is 101,300 pascals. The volume is 40 liters converted to cubic meters, is 0 0.040 meters cubed, divided by N, which is one mole, and R, which is 8.315 joules per mole times Kelvin and of course that will come up in centigrade and not centigrade but Kelvin degrees so let's find out what that's equal to so 101,300 times 0.04 divided by 8 oop, wrong button divided by 8.315 equals and it looks like it starts at a temperature of 487 Kelvin all right now, temperature 2 is equal to P2 V2 divided by NR, and uh, pressure is the same, N is the same, R is the same. V went from 0.4 to 0.6. So we divide that by 4 and multiply times 6, we get the value of 731 Kelvin. So that gives us the initial and final temperature in this thermodynamic process. Now we can go ahead and plug that in here. So this is equal to one mole. C sub P for a diatomic gas, that would be seven halves R, seven over two R, times the natural log of T final, which is 731, divided by T initial, which is 487. Okay. Go ahead and figure that out. 731 divided by 487, take the natural log of that, multiply that times 7 halves, which is 3 and a half, so multiply times 3.5, and multiply times R, which is 8.315 equals, and it looks like the delta S in this case is going to be equal to 11.8 joules per Kelvin. Notice that it's a positive delta S. Let's see if that makes sense. 
Well, it starts at a low temperature and finishes up at a higher temperature, which means that heat was added to the gas. Since heat was added to the gas, it's a positive heat exchange, and therefore we expect a positive delta S. So it seems like that would be correct. And that's how you find the change in the entropy with using a thermodynamic process.